Explain why the measurements below will make it impossible to make a triangle. Alpha is 47 degrees. Side A is 8 feet. And side B is 15 feet. And I've got a triangle drawn here just to show uh, where the things are labeled, the sides and the angles. But we're not going to have a triangle with these measurements. And the reason is because it's going to look a little bit more like this. Where this is our 8 feet, this is our 15, and this is our 47 degrees. Now, I could just draw a picture like that and uh, try to trick you, but let's do it mathematically and show why that 8 is just kind of dangling. That side length of 8 is dangling. It'll never get all the way down. It'll never make it this height. So let's label that H, the height of this triangle, or the height from this point to this point. Let's label that H. We know that sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we've got this triangle here, here's our 47 degrees, here's our H, and here is 15. I've just copied that triangle from over here. Sine of 47 degrees will then equal the opposite side length of H over the hypotenuse of 15. So multiply each side by 15. So now you have 15 equals, oops, 15 times. 15 times sine of 47 degrees equals the height. Then the height will equal about, rounding, around, uh, about 11 feet. So if this height is 11 feet and this side length is only 8, well, we have a problem. This 8 will never uh, reach below. So in fact, you could draw it here or here or here. You can see it's kind of like a swinging gate that'll never reach uh, the, other, the other side of the fence. I like this idea of swinging gates. All right. So that is an idea or an example of an ambiguous case where the, there is no triangle.